Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. Playoff hockey is finally here and we've got some action to bet on. We've got a free play for you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. Hurricanes Bruins, uh, it's game two of the series. The Brewers, or the Bruins, excuse me, have a one game lead uh, in the series and they're favored big in this one, minus 147. Uh, the over under is five. Scott Rickenbach is joining us to talk Hurricanes Bruins. Uh, Scott, what you got on this game? Yes, it's Bruins Hurricanes uh, for this one in game two and a back to back situation. Very rare because what happened is originally their game one was supposed to be, of course, on Tuesday night. And then because of that five overtime game between Tampa Bay and uh, Columbus, and of course, the fact that these games are being played, you know, in the bubble, Eastern Conference all being played in Toronto and the Western Conference all being played in Edmonton. So as a result of all that, the game with Tampa Bay went so long that Boston and Carolina got pushed to Wednesday morning. So now we're talking about a Thursday uh, evening game right after a Wednesday morning contest that, by the way, went to double overtime. And the thing here that I like about this matchup is it's a very tight matchup that is going to see, I feel, some struggling in terms of scoring goals here in this game, too. I know game one went over the total, but that was very fortunate. Uh, for one thing, Boston had a goal that really should have uh, not counted. The goalie had frozen the puck, and uh, the you know all the announcers and analysts that are chiming in about it have even said that again that that goal should have never happened, should have never counted. Then you've got Carolina getting a shorthanded goal, and again that's why the game ended up a three-three uh, overtime game where very easily it should have been a three-two final and would have stayed under the total. So. The total in game two is five or five and a half goals. I think we're going to see pretty solid five and a half out there. You're seeing a little of both right now. But either way, I like the under in this matchup. These teams are so evenly matched. They met in the postseason last year, and of course, Boston swept them out of the playoffs. But this time, I look for a much more tightly contested series all the way through. And again, if you watch that first game, both these teams just very strong and evenly matched, and they play a physical hockey and both goalies look to be in the zone both goalies were very sharp in this first game and I look for more of the same in game two so again I'm looking for under the total in the game two matchup on Thursday between uh, Carolina and Boston the back-to-back -back situation again the the craziness in terms of a couple of those goals that were scored in the first game it's giving us a little bit of value now here to come right back with the under in a game that I wouldn't be surprised to see a two to one type game here in the game two matchup. Uh, look for both teams to do their best to try and stay out of the box and not, not let the other teams, uh, special teams get involved. And again, coming off a double OT game and the fact it was very tight back and forth, I look for a tight low scoring game here in game two between Boston and Carolina go under the total on Thursday evening. All right, that's going to wrap it up for Hurricanes Bruins talk on Picks and Parlays. Thanks for watching.